This is my sketchbook from summer and fall of last year, 2023. And after it had been raining all night long, discovered that I left her outside all night on the patio table. I guess I was just planning on going back out there and drawing some more and then I never did. Fortunately, most of the drawings in here are still intact. It's really not, um, I don't know, I, <laughs> I definitely cried when I found it and realized why I did, but most of the stuff in here, it's okay. It definitely has like grown some spores. And I do kind of feel like it maybe having it around in my studio is hazardous to my health. So I think maybe the best thing to do is document it really well. Then like, I think I need to get rid of it. I think I need to throw it in the trash. I don't know. What do you think? Anyway. Here's what's inside. So the cover has just fully come off. So I'll set this over here. It's so crinkly. Started in summer 2023 and the autumn allergy monster. So this is actually from fall 2022, but I guess I was had another sketchbook going and thought I was gonna abandon that one and start this, but then I didn't. It's a really strange note on our receipt. Little ink drawing of some nighttime mushrooms. This is my husband, Daniel. These are some little stamps that I carved for him. That's his, his pen name, I suppose. Little dog butt. Some nice little drawings. Pentel pocket brush pen, one of my favorite pens to use. I have no idea what this receipt was from. <laughs> it's kind of sad. Got totally washed away. These are from the really awesome Diego Rivera exhibition that was at our local museum, Crystal Bridges. I love the way he expresses the shapes and planes of the faces. These are some little diary entries. Buying <laughs> mocktail supplies for our family beach trip. These are my little nibblings, Daniel's siblings, uh, son and daughter. I love making sandcastles at the beach and finding all the trash and stuff to stick into it to decorate them. And then of course we always watch the Astros. Lots of birds at the beach. Mermaid girl. Little killdeer. She had a nest right in front of our beach house. Oh, this was a call with um, an astrologer that didn't really make much sense. Oh yeah, this is why I learned that Republicans in the Senate overturned the student loan forgiveness. But you know, I still haven't started repaying them back, so f*** it. This is <laughs> some notes to tell my psychiatrist about my ADHD symptoms. I really like this drawing. I even wrote in mean little note to myself. Imagine being able to draw like this and just scrolling for three hours a day instead. Okay. <laughs> These looks like some notes of all the amazing ideas that I had when I was riding my bike. Husband. Oh yeah, this is when we drove to Lawrence, Kansas, which is actually a really cool little town to buy a used bike that I found for Daniel. A matching journeyman like mine. That's me. <laughs> Little Greek restaurant where we ate. Touching the forest commie. I was on a bike ride and I found this just, I guess it's an overturned tree. And just the roots and the moss, it kind of like had a face and it just felt like 
a wise, loving presence. So I touched it. <laughs> this is kind of cool how it's either watercolor or gouache, but the way it kind of mirrored onto this side of the page. Cool they pour on. <laughs> Daddy Tim Ferriss quote, if you lose the ability to be bored for five to ten minutes at a time, that makes you very fragile. Be bored, don't look at your phone. Wallfish. Goo. I love this drawing of goo. I don't know if this sketchbook and I are going to work out. <laughs> from my birthday gift from my friend Sarah. They put a cute little face. They also got me this washi tape as a gift at a, a different time. They're very good giving cool gifts. I like these weird flowers. Another husband drawing. That's Daniel's birthday. Mine's the 15th, I'm three days older than him. Another husband. Our ticket for the train ride that we went on when his parents visited. It was fun, but hot. Kitty's drawn with the Pentel brush pen, but it's running out of ink. That's one of my favorite things about that pen is it, you get so many different lines throughout like the life cycle of the little ink cartridge that you put in there. I think these little scratchy ones look really cool. Notes and creatures. More notes and cool drawings. Some little <laughs> keychain designs. This is when I had my Shopify and I was experimenting with like having this new brand for my products and I guess this was like a, a door sign I was going to create, but that ended up just being too much. I remember doing this one on the train ride, and then I made her into a painting. This is another time going back to Crystal Bridges and drawing from Diego Rivera's paintings. This is the Frank Lloyd Wright house. I sat there and drew while Daniel and his parents did the audio tour inside because I've done that several times now. These are from one of the best paintings at that museum, The Lantern Bearers by, oh god, oh god, it's on the tip of my tongue. Nope, it's not there, but I'll edit it in. Weird flower doodle, weird little notes. These are copied from... Little Thunder, one of my favorite artists. So just a study. That's Ice Spice. I drew these when I was at a hotel and Daniel was at a wedding thing that I didn't go to. These are more Little Thunder studies. This is my friend who just always looks so incredible and beautiful. And I had to draw this photo. This is from my incredibly traumatic OBGYN appointment. I had the best OBGYN in Austin and the one I've been to here, which I won't be returning to, is just so bad in comparison. This is a sticker from, that's my friend who came to visit. I don't know what I took that off of. Maybe their bag when they were here. That's Daniel and Joe and Mike playing music in the garage. Cause start to see the mold really <laughs> showing up on these pages. I love this drawing. This cute girl with her little stars in her collar. This is some little week planning protocol, starting, stopping, and desiring. This is from our anniversary trip to a really cool cabin, Longbow Resort in Arkansas. I, I found this, these gorgeous wings on the ground like this. And I'm glad that they've survived. The colors, just that orange and blue and brown, so good. I hope that it comes through, how incredible that is. When I found the sketchbook in the rain, this was one of the pages I was most worried about, but it looks fine. It even did like kind of the cool shadow on the other side. This is the view from our cabin, this incredible waterfall and pool and this is like all private for us. So I did a lot of skinny dipping in there. 
And then over here, there's like a rock overhang, like a grotto and little um, patio chairs in there. It was such a cool place. Has been reading the Bible. I really like this drawing. Moldy husband. <laughs> Weird little notes. Believe in the process. Oh, this is from a watercolor workshop I took online. Really quick little compositional still lifes to get ready to make a painting. Starting to get excited for Christmas time. Got my little reindeer. Really weird drawing of Daniel. Thinking about workshops and waiting till I have better intuitive watercolor paintings to pitch my watercolor for a perfectionist workshop, <laughs> which still hasn't happened yet. Don't epic my Christmas. You know how millennials made Halloween all like epic and shit? <laughs> Some cute drawings of Tickwood. Drawing stockings. I really wanted to make my own stocking this year, but I didn't. And that's okay. Or last year is what I mean. Maybe I will this year. This is some weird little, this is, looks like Ace of Wands, um, Seven of Pentacles, and the Star. I guess that was a spread that I did. This might be ink, maybe watercolor, not sure. It looks cool with like the ghosting of the drawings on the other page. Hummingbird. Can't wait for them to come back. This I guess was like a little illustration I was thinking of doing of um, a bookshelf. I forgot about that. That looks fun. I would like to make that. This is planning out my booth for the one market that I did this year, last year. <laughs> Wow, lots of notes, lots of things to do and make. Some cool little clowns. More clowns. These I, I believe these are studies. I was looking at some stuff on Pinterest. That's kind of cool what happened here. It almost looks like a intaglio print, the way it kind of blurred, but still has the thin little lines. I think that's a Pentel Slicky, but I'm not sure. It like faded to green, it's really interesting. This is me planning for Grit Fest, the mountain bike camping festival, basic needs, and then if I'm thriving, I have all of this. <laughs> this is a stamp that I carved there. I love this drawing. She used to be on Instagram. I don't think I ever posted her. I need to scan that one. Oh yeah, camping at Griffith. And there's a spider in my tent, of course. Love camping. Inktober. I printed all these out, thought this was such a cool little page, and I didn't do any of them. I feel like this part of the year I started getting pretty burnt out. Mostly just from running the Shopify and this new brand and trying to do all this and not really seeing much success. <laughs> yeah. And my little neck and shoulders were hurting so much. Cute little witch. This one got pretty messed up. She would be cool to redraw. I guess this page got... I wonder what that was drawn in. I think I have a photo of that one too. It's really interesting. What? It looks like brush pen, but I think maybe when this book was getting rained on, the back was up and these pages toward the end maybe got a little more saturated. Kitty cat. <laughs> this is me trying to think of like the most comfortable like zero gravity Eames style rocking chair for drawing. 
That's how you know you're getting old, fantasizing about comfortable chairs. These, I was trying to draw this really cute pic of Jose Altuve. He just hit a ball and he has like the cutest like puffed cheeks expression, but I just couldn't get it right. Here's some receipts. I probably meant to glue them, but never did. Too overwhelmed by, I couldn't even finish it. <laughs> this is a manifestation page. That didn't work. <laughs> they didn't even ever respond to my application. I don't think I meant to draw her <laughs> sniffing feet. I probably just drew my husband's feet and then drew her next to it, but her expression definitely looks like she just sniffed some feet. I guess that might be the end. I would say I finished the sketchbook printly. Spores. Anything in here? Looks like just another Crystal Bridges ticket. Yep, there she is. What do y'all think? Should I maybe just like rip a couple of the pages out and throw away the rest? I'm just like wafting the spores into my lungs. All right, thanks for watching.